Hi, my name is Pat Andrada and today I'm going to tell you what we did in our session called Effective Presentation Skills, which took place in EVO 2021 from January the 11th to February 14th. Our co-moderators, uh, Mushtaq Hosen from India and Dr. Nelly Deutsch was the one who offered us her platform called Moodle for Teachers. What is especially fabulous about Moodle for Teachers is that it allows students and participants work in forums um, where they can interact with each other and create communities and share values. Um, we as moderators act as facilitators. We facilitate um, tools to participants, we guide them and we organize our sessions bearing in mind teamwork and feedback. It's of course a hands-on project where every participant is um, encouraged to try out and play with new tools and make tutorials and produce videos. We will see that in, in a minute. And of course, it's not just about uh, learning English, it's about sharing values and sharing this idea of learning throughout your life. And so let's see what happened in week one. First of all, participants introduced themselves, they located themselves in the world map. They did that using Padlet and they filled in um, a live survey using Mentimeter and we're going to see that in a minute. And we had our synchronous meetings on Zoom. So we are already mentioning lots of tools. Then uh, week two was about planning, how to plan our um, presentation. We have to bear in mind the, the aim. Are we trying to convince somebody, to persuade, um, to sell a product, to introduce ourselves? Of course, the message and the audience. Who are they? Where are they? Uh, what do they know? Um, what do they need to know? Then the structure and the sequencing. If we present um, in a monotone and if we don't point to a future time, probably we'll lose our audience in, in the way. And of course, timing. We have always suggested to have um, one slide every two minutes or so. Of course, storytelling has been a very important aspect in our presentation and our session, since it allows us to connect with our audience, engage them and sharing. Um, design has dealt with the color alignment and white space of the visual aids. Um, we might want to add charts, tables and infographics, which sometimes are more are clearer than words or text. Um, and of course, we can add as well clips, images and GIFs. These were the platforms that were chosen by our colleagues. There were um, PowerPoint, Google Slides and Canva. Well, this is a GIF, by the way. Another GIF here. <laughs> Um, on the, our fourth week, we worked with delivery and we had our guest speaker again, um, Kirsten Wächter, who delivered an awesome presentation. We'll refer to it later on, uh, on vocal elements, on nonverbal elements, on how to overcome fear. And finally, participants shared their presentations on a Padlet wall. And finally, week five was all about reflections. We assigned a Kahoot, you know, we can play a Kahoot live or we can assign it with what we've learned with some questions. Then we showcased our work on a Padlet wall again and filled in a survey for EVO 21 and provided some feedback for Teasel uh, on Flipgrid. This is our guest speaker. This is her second talk. We are very thankful to Kirsten. And these are all the platforms and tools we have um, worked on, quite many. 
So let's have a look at um, Moodle for Teachers. This is the platform where we introduced our moderators. We um, specified the syllabus, the target audience, the objectives, and we provided a session outline, is, which is the one that you have just um, looked at. Then in int the introduction week, uh, let's see how our participants posted their answers. So in each of the weeks, there was an introductory video. This was one of the exercises where they introduced themselves and then they um, wrote something about themselves. Here is a tutorial and an example. And of course, the Zoom link. And well, of course, the, the recording was also posted. During week two, uh, we played a Mentimeter, actually, it was a survey. So this is a very graphic way of showing results. Which education field do you teach? Participants answered, and this was shown in this chart. And then the next question was, what do you think is important for a presentation? And they have provided this feedback, and this was included in our Moodle as you can see here. So this can be added once you have the answers. Then there was a first exercise on a TED, two TED Talks and they had to share an anecdote where they had to record themselves. So as you can see, these are some of the answers and this is the replies from other participants. This feedback engages them into interaction. Then we had our first guest talk where Kerstin Wächter talked about planning. During week three, we, welt, we dealt with design and participants were asked to do some reading and reflect on it. And we had our live session. During week four, we, dwelt, we dealt with the delivery stage of our presentations and we watched some TED Talks by Chris Anderson, and we analyzed elements such as voice, speech, stress, intonation, body language, proximity, and participants were asked to present their final presentations. Again, there was a tutorial on how to do that. And on this Padlet wall, participants shared their presentations uh, on different fields. And of course, other participants left their comments. We had our second guest talk again with Kirsten Wächter, who this time talked about the delivery stage. The final week was about reflections. Participants provided some feedback on this Padlet wall. And then they were asked to play a Kahoot to see and check how much they had learned. So by clicking on this link, we are taken here. This Kahoot uh, is shown in the edit for, um, format. So you can see how to edit answers. You provide a question, you took, look for an image, you click the right answer, and then you can assign it to other students. You can either play it live during your Zoom session or you can assign it, as was the case in our course. So let's close now. So here it is. And finally, there was a survey which was to be completed by every participant <clears throat> for EVO 21 and to improve uh, our sessions for next year. And there was a flip grid to be filled for the TESO. So let's click on it to see where it takes us. So participants of EVO, and here we can see the different videos recorded by our participants. So I would like to thank once again all the coordination team at EVO 2021, to all participants, because we learn from each other, and of course, to my co-moderator, Mushtaq Hosen and Dr. Nelly Deutsch. Thank you very much and see you next year. Bye.